So then, who's ready to go on a little tour? So first off, you're gonna see that we've got a brand new display cabinet filled with all of the collectibles boxes that I've collected over the years, such as Resident Evil, Hogwarts, and the PlayStation box. Cannot forget, of course, Devil and Me, and a few bits of Lego, and of course, you can already see the vines and greenery just to put it all together. As many of you will know, I am a huge Lego advocate. I am a huge Star Wars fan as well, and that is very much showcased on the back of this display um, anything from helmets to BB-8 um, or not BB-8 but BD-1 although there are some BB-8s in the back uh, all the way through to Pokemon and the little bobbleheads that go with it um, there is so much to be seen on this back wall here two of my favorite things are of course my my helmets I have my assault trooper and I have my regular trooper uh, they were both gifts that I am very, very happy with. But of course, sandwiched between, or sandwiched on either side of those, are even more Lego pieces, including uh, Lego Finn, which was the first piece that I ever bought. Going down, you can see that we have got the Harry Potter's collector piece, which is the floating wand on the book, followed by more Star Wars Lego. I've been making a small collection of the diorama set, and this has been a really fun project i cannot wait to get the next one but we have the dagobah scene and we have the trash compactor scene followed by more star wars bits and pieces um, including a figurine that i thought was really cool i will explain the ballet shoes in a minute but of course you can see the meta quest there as well the ballet shoes were part of a gift which were uh came out of a meme uh, between two friends so it's not something weird but there we go as you can also see loads of sneak loads of other collectibles and more uh, playing cards as well so there you go there is plenty to see and marvel at on the back wall I wish I could spend more time on this but I don't want to have to bore you with all the ins and outs so between the collector sets the boxes and the Lego there is plenty to be seen here in part two of this we've got our second display case getting off to a creepy start right from the beginning that is the uh, the Devil in Me um, Collector's Edition piece along with the Leon S. Kennedy piece from Resident Evil 4. Here we have all of my wife's wonderful Lego as an avid Harry Potter fan. She has chosen to keep a lot of her Lego in here which is fantastic. The place does need a dust I know. But then on top of that we have some disc plates with uh, custom disc plates and some more artwork from Star Wars on the wall. And then my collection of uh, black series figurines all mint in box none of them ever been taken out and collected over the years all of them have been organized specifically i'll let you work out if you can see how they've been organized but no duplicates here at all um just a really big collection that i'm proud of then at the bottom i will admit to have just placed a few things that needed somewhere to live including the uh, playstation 5 and 4 games uh, and a couple of extra bits and pieces including the books and a plushie from one of my all-time favorite streamers darkness 429 and of course you cannot forget the black panther helmet here we have the pc uh, there will be some statistics of what is in the actual pc coming up on the screen in a moment for you but this PC was brought from Scan over here in the UK. It's a fantastic piece. As you can see, we have the 3080 there. It has been an absolute godsend, this PC. I've been able to do so much on this. And in the future, I do plan on getting another one very similar to this so I can set up the dual setup. Uh, I do need to work on some cable management around the back. But all in all, I am very pleased with this absolute beast of a PC that realistically has zero problems running anything that I would like to play 
Uh, the glass does need a bit of a clean, but we're going to ignore that and we're just going to have fun looking at the shiny lights because, you know, you're not a true PC gamer, surely, without the lights. And then moving on, we have the PS5. A lot of you will know that a lot of my uh, recording and gaming is done from the PS5. I have uh, the Elgato link that enables me to do that, which is a great piece of kit. And then further down, this is actually resting on our family bar. Uh, including all the spirits, all of the drinks, and two Stormtrooper decanters, which uh, do actually have stuff in them, albeit one of them rather empty. This is a, a personal favourite space of mine. It has everything that I want, and uh, I'm very, very pleased with how this has all turned out. Here we have my Secret Labs Titan chair. Moving on to the PC area itself, I have three AOC monitors, two of them 27 inch, 124, and the middle one being curved. These monitors have been brilliant. I cannot complain about them. There we also have some Gove lights that are set up from the top of the middle monitor, which reflect the color of the screen. And of course we have the PS5 controllers, including the new limited edition Spider-Man one, followed by the Elgato uh, low profile arm and the Shaw uh, mic. Here we have Corsair mouse and keyboard, all RGB supported of course, followed by the Stream Deck, the regular Stream Deck and the Go XLR Mini. One of the best pieces of kit I've brought. Again, it needs a bit of a dusting, but there we go. And there we have a, uh, a Darth Vader bust, which actually is a wax warmer. I have the LG Pro headset a camcorder for my webcam and the Elgato ring light. All of these pieces have been absolutely brilliant. I cannot fault them. Of course, I'd like to upgrade a little bit, but realistically, what's the point? Here we have my wall of posters and disc plates. Those of you who know about disc plate, they are a uh, high profile or high quality uh, poster company but all the posters are metal and are stuck to the wall using magnets and I have every single Star Wars poster from the main movies up on the wall in some sort of order plus some extra little bits uh, from events that I've been to in the past or games that I've collected and here we have all of the plushies as you can see I am a Pokemon fan as well as a Star Wars fan so I've got various plushies uh, including all of the Squishmallows that are currently out from the Pokemon range as well as a couple of little extra things that I just seem to have collected over the year. So there you have it guys, there is the stream room, a room that has grown from being in our kitchen to being a tiny little desk with one thing on the wall to what it is today and I cannot thank you guys enough for making this possible. As always, if you have enjoyed the content make sure to like and subscribe to the channel, I know that it's not the most professional uh, stream tour but hey listen I just wanted to showcase and give thanks to you guys for everything that you have made possible so hopefully I'll see you soon and until then take care and goodbye now